Welcome back everyone. In this short video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take this character pack, this character animation pack. As you can see, there's a bunch of different animations here. Idle, walk, a bunch. There's actually a lot. There's dash right, dash back, etc. And then we're going to take this pack. It's basically just models of base, warrior, archer, and mage. And we're going to be using the, the animation to animate these guys because these guys are the models, but they don't come with animations. So we're going to learn how to do that in Godot. So this is all from the same artist. K something something. Uh, I recently made another video on him, so definitely check out his stuff. So first thing we want to do is go into our Godot project, and I'm going to just delete these real quick, and we'll go through the import process. So let's go into our folders. The first thing we're going to want to do is find the actual models. So here in our character pack, we can go to models, characters, and we're going to do GLTF. So you can pick whatever you want. I'll do warrior for now. Let's go back to our, well, we don't want this guy. Let's delete this. Let's go back to our animation tab. So here we'll find the animations, GLTF again, and it'll be a GLB and we'll drag drop that. So now what we can do is we're going to make a new scene. We're going to drag our character here. We're going to drag our other character in the animations tab and we're going to save this guy. This is going to be our player. Actually, no, what we're going to do is we're going to do this new inherited and then save this as our player. Sorry about that. And then we're going to go into here. We're going to save this. We don't Nope. So we're not going to save that. We're going to inherit it first. And then we're going to save this as the character. And we're going to delete these two. We're going to say, don't save, don't save. We don't want those two. And we're going to go into here and we're going to go to our skeleton 3d and we're going to clear inheritance first. So we're going to clear the inheritance and then we're going to add, sorry, go again to the skeleton 3d. We're going to add bones. So we search up bone. As you can see, we have bone 2d, but we want bone attachment 3d. So here we can see if we go to the skeleton 3d, the bones are set up for us. Now, what does this mean? There's body, head, arm, left, etc. Now, what does that actually mean? Well, if we zoom in, we can see the bones, right? Those are the bones. Like if we actually make this invisible, we can still see the bones. So this is the actual model, the prototype, prototype Pete. <coughs> it's a mesh instance 3d. However, if we go to the animation player, let's go to uh, dance, I guess and we scroll up a little bit, we can see the skeleton 3D is what moves it. It's not the actual mesh instance. So this is nice because the prototype Pete is, has a skeleton as well, and that skeleton should be following the skeleton 3D, right? So I'm not gonna look into how the prototype Pete works because we don't really need it. What we need is to make bone attachments. So we'll duplicate this a few times, and what we want to do is create the body attachment. So we have head, body, arm left, arm right, and they don't have to be spelt cor uh, completely correct, but um, we're going to be looking at how we actually do that in a second. So hand slot right, and then let's copy this, and then this will be hand slot left. So how do we actually connect these? Well, in our head, we can go to bone name and just connect the head, right? Body the body and just repeat this for everything so uh, arm left arm left arm right and slot the right and as you can see the position is being moved to where the hand should be right so that's where the hand should be and then hand slot left let's go again and hand slot left okay so now what do we do well first of all we can just delete this guy we don't need him anymore now what we're going to do is we're going to take our character and we're going to clear inheritance on this guy as well. We're going to save him. And now we're going to drag all these out. So we're going to take the head and we're going to take the arms and drag that out. So the head, we're not going to drag these out because these are part of the head. Um, see, if, we, if I basically do this, the head disappears. So these are a part of the head. Unless you want to edit it, we'll kind of keep it as a child of the head. So now what we can do is take our player and drag it into Pete. And now what we can do is make it local, we'll go up here, we're going to take our body and put it into the body bone. We're going to take our arm left and put that in the arm left, arm right, put it in the bone arm right. Now we're going to take our head and put it in the head. Now the character skeleton node, we just don't need that so we can delete that. And now we have everything connected. Don't worry about the hand slots, those are for different purposes. Um, for like, if you have a sword or something, right? Because as you can see, it's kind of right below or right next to his hand. So if you have a sword, you would put it in there or whatever else. Okay. Now let's actually look. 
what do we have we have our animated character how cool is that so now we can like loop this and play so now our player is now playing right so we've now imported our warrior so that's it um but now all we can do is delete our player we don't need the player anymore so here we have this guy and now we have our animated player you can rename this scene to whatever you want in fact i i think you still need this let's see what happens if i delete it let's save oh i guess you don't need it well um you can kind of delete whatever you don't think you need i don't think we need this either actually but that's okay doesn't really matter okay and that's it so i hope you guys learned how to do that and i'll see you guys next time I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that sub button down below as I'm always creating new videos and trolls for you guys. And of course, if you have any recommendations, leave a comment down below. Or if you guys want, you can make sure that your voice is heard. Definitely check out my socials down below. I have a Discord that's always growing and I would love to be able to chat with you guys and see what's going on in your own lives. I have a few other links down below that you should check out. My Steam page, my Patreon, if you want to check that out. And of course, my Twitch. Um, I, I kind of stream every now and then, but it's hard. I hope to see you guys around. Till next time. Bye-bye.